Well, with March coming in like a lion, we are now taking March out like a lamb. Lamb chops and leg of lamb to be specific. And Rachel Perrin is here from Kowalski. She's here to show us, and I'm not quite convinced of this, but it's easy to cook lamb. That's what we're... It's easy to cook lamb. It really is. If you can cook pork, if you can cook beef, if you can do a pork chop, a beef steak, if you can do a roast, you can absolutely do lamb. But it seems like it's one of those things in the in the meat case when you see it, you kind of go, oh, I'm not so sure. I think people are nervous about it because sometimes, I mean, lamb's an investment. It's a little bit more expensive than beef. And so they're afraid. They're afraid they're going to lose their investment on that great cut of meat and taking it home if they're not really sure. But the same principles that apply to cooking a good steak or a good roast apply to cooking lamb. And that really comes all down to temperature that's key that's that's the number one thing with cooking lamb is cooking it to the right temperature no matter what cut you use but we should look at a couple different cuts let's here do it yep. and see what the different options are for Easter leg of lamb is very popular because mm -hmm. it's great for a crowd it makes for an elegant presentation it's just beautiful this one is a semi boneless leg of lamb and it's been French so a lot of the bone is exposed here easy to carve mm -hmm. it just lovely delicious that's popular for Easter but all year round and in at Easter as well chops are, are popular as well. Rib chops, to, uh, which are similar to like a bone-in ribeye steak or like the um, loin chops here, which are similar to a T-bone steak. So if you can cook those, you can cook them here. And that's the thing. The, the key is the temp and explain that. Yes. So what does it need to be set at? So what do we need to have? No matter at? how you cook them, like if you were to cook, I'm going to put these chops in this nice hot grill pan. You can grill them in a grill pan, grill them on your outdoor grill if it's nice enough. Um, you can broil them. You can do the roast or the leg of lamb. You can actually do in the oven just like you would do a pot roast or a turkey or a ham. Um, no matter what method you use, you just want to make sure that you take it to the temperature that you want for the doneness. And for lamb, you know, USDA safe is 145. For many people, that's a little bit too done. Okay. Um, you might want to go for like a 135, which is a medium rare, maybe even 125 to 130 for a rare. Um, and whether you're doing the chop here or you're doing the roast, stick it in a nice thick part of the roast here, away from the bone mm -hmm. to read the temperature. But you need to take it out before it's done. <laughs> that's the that's key, the right? Other one because too. once... Right, because there's that carryover cooking effect mm -hmm. that we were talking mm -hmm. about. So mm -hmm. whether you're doing your roast, you need to take it out of the oven, or whether you're doing a chop on the grill or inside, you need to take it off. In the case of a chop, five degrees before it's done. In the case of the roast, at least 10, maybe even 15. This thing will rise in temperature once it's removed from the oven. Mm -hmm. On average, 15 degrees for a five to seven pound roast. We can already smell it a little bit. Mm -hmm. We have some, so fini <laughs> some finished dishes here. We do. Um, with a little bit of a glaze. And, and you're saying the glaze is simple as well. The glaze is literally two ingredients. And it's a little cheat that I had back from my catering days. That people always used to ask me about it. But it's a really great quality jam or preserve, mm -hmm. like a sour cherry or an orange marmalade, a spicy peach we have here. And then you just take four parts of that to one part of a great quality, really good white um, vinegar. So like a champagne vinegar or a rice wine vinegar, white balsamic. Melt it and then drizzle it over the warm meat, the roast or the chops when they come off the heat. I'm convinced. Especially you're telling me if I can cook a pork chop, I can cook we lamb can cook and we lamb. can be a gourmet. You, it's going to be delicious. <laughs> Easter right. dinner's ready. Well, I appreciate you coming by and stopping Absolutely. by today. Thank you, Rachel no Perrin from Kowalski's. And we have today's recipes on care11.com along with a link to Kowalski's. Just click on the 4 p.m. page and we will be right back.